Hey everybody, uh, do you guys remember Sakatoa? Sine equals opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. So how do how can we solve a right triangle? We're going to use all of that right here. Um, uh, okay, so here's uh, from uh, IM2 class. I pulled this right out of my IM2 lesson right here. So the sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So here's a right triangle. So this is the hypotenuse. The cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite over adjacent. So it says find the sine, cosine, and tangent of these acute angles. Okay, that's the 90 right there. So these guys are the acute angles. So let's set up a ratio for the sine, cosine, and tangent. Okay, well first we've got to find out the hypotenuse right here. 8 squared plus 15 squared equals blank squared. And you can use uh, the Pythagorean theorem or realize it's a p-triple and you get 17. So, so the hypotenuse goes under all the sines and cosines. So I'm going to put 17, 17, 17, 17 in all those denominators right there. Okay, all right. So the sine of x, okay, so the sine of x is 8 seventeenths opposite over hypotenuse, opposite over hypotenuse. The cosine of x is adjacent over hypotenuse, okay? So there we go. And then let's do that for the sine of z and the cosine of z. So the sine of z is 15 opposite over hypotenuse, and the cosine of z is 8 over 17 right there, okay? And then the tangent is doesn't have the hypotenuse in it. It has the opposite over adjacent leg. So the tangent of x is 8 over adjacent, 8 over 15, opposite over adjacent. The tangent of c is 15 over 8. Does that ring a bell, hopefully? Okay, all right, so let's uh, go ahead and use that information to derive a formula from for this area of a triangle. So we're going to draw an altitude AD right up here straight down to side BC, okay? There it is right there. We're going to label the height, uh, which is H, which is altitude, okay? So write a formula for the area of triangle ABC, okay? Remember, this base is A, this small a right here. So, so do you guys remember from grade school, the area of a triangle is one-half base times height. So it's one-half A times H. All right, now let's uh, uh, integrate that with our sine ratio. So let's find the sine of C with this right triangle right here. So it's going to be opposite over hypotenuse, which is uh, H over B right there. Okay, so now we're going to solve this equation for H, so I'm going to multiply both sides by B. Okay, let's do that first right there. Okay, and then now we're going to substitute this in for the H right here. So I'm going to put in uh, B sine of C. So the area of the triangle is, all, is also one-half uh, AB sine of C, one-half AB sine of C right there. Okay, well... Uh, we can do that for uh, all three sides. So the area of the triangle is one half. Uh, let's go back here, you guys. Let's go back to this. So if we're including this angle right here, then it's one half this angle times the sides that are including it right here. Okay. So here, here's sine of A. So it's one half this angle times the sides that are including that BC. Or we can do one half this angle right here times the sides that are including that AC okay or we can do one half this angle times these two sides right there okay so those three uh, 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 fractions equal each other and we're going to use that in the next lesson so find the area of each triangle to the nearest tenth okay so it's one half the um, uh, this times this times the sine of uh, 142 Okay, so let's plug in 142 in our calculator. We get 0.6157, and then 1 half is 0.5. So when you multiply all those together, you get about 4.6 inches squared, okay? All right, so here they don't give us a picture. So triangle DEF, where DE is 12, DF is 15 centimeters, and, and the measure of angle D is 34. So draw a triangle that matches this description right here. Okay, so here's angle D is 34, DE is 12, so there's that, and then DF is 15. Okay, I don't know what that is, but this looks pretty much drawn to scale with a 34 degree angle right here, and the smaller side's on this side. So I think so right there. So we're going to go 
one half um, uh, this times this times the the sine of 34 okay so it's always the included sides with the angle right there so the sine of 34 is 0. 0.5592 and then so one half is 0. 0.5 times 12 times 15 times that you get about 50.3 and uh, always area is always in terms of centimeters squared right there okay all right, so here's a, for a, a application problem explained too on our textbook right here. A shelf extends perpendicularly from a wall. Okay, so here's our shelf right here that's uh, perpendicularly from a wall, seven inches from the wall. We want to place a nine-inch brace right here. So, so here's a nine-inch brace right here underneath the shelf to the nearest tenth of an inch. How far below the shelf will the brace be attached? So that's this down here. And then to the nearest degree, what angle will be the, the brace make uh, with the wall right here? So the brace is going to make the wall right here. So that's what we're looking for right there. So let's go ahead and find the Pythagorean theorem to find that third side right there. So x squared plus 7 squared equals 9 squared. So when we subtract 49, we get 32. Square root of 32 is about 5.7. Okay, so... So we're going to use inverse trig to find uh, this angle right here. Okay, so here we go. So um, uh, I think we're going to do uh, uh, the cosine of A. Yeah, the cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So if we hit shift cosine or second function cosine, so the measure of angle A will be cosine to the negative 1, which is second function, which is about 39 degrees right there. All right, so the triangle adds up to 180. So we can get, uh, uh, as soon as my computer stops freezing, we can get uh, 51 degrees right there. Okay, so it said find that, uh, uh, this measure right here, uh, which is about 5.7 inches, and this is about 51 degrees right there. Now, we could have found this angle first, and then uh, did 180 to get angle A, but either way, we get the same answer, okay? All right, so here we go. So triangle ABC has vertices negative 3, 3, negative 3, negative 1, and 4, negative 1. Find the side lengths to the nearest hundredths of an angle and the angles to the nearest uh, degree. Okay, so let's go ahead and graph these guys. There it is. All right, good. It's a right triangle. So once I find one of these, I can figure out the other one right there. Okay, put the lengths in there. So we know that right there. And then we can get uh, AC by using the Pythagorean theorem. So we get about the square root of 65, which is uh, about 8.06. So it said round to the nearest hundredth. That's two decimal places, so about 8.06. All right, now it also said find the angle measures. Well, once we find this angle, we can take it off of 90 to figure out this angle, because that's 90 also. Okay, so punch in the calculator, 4 divided by 7, and then we're going to do inverse trig or second function trig. And we get uh, about 30 degrees, so it's about a 30, 60, 90 triangle. All right, if you are in my class, I'm going to assign you that. Take care.